Hi, Stan Baldwin, 3DPT. And, um, interesting thing happened. Um, all 3D printers eventually get a jam in them. It's just an unavoidable thing. So, I had some bad filament that I was trying to shove through my uh, extruder head. And the filament responded by breaking inside of... There's a bunch jammed in here, and now there's a bunch jammed in the hot end. So, I'm going to have to take this off. And hopefully, and I've cleared it one before. Usually if it jams, it jams right between the extruder head and the hot end here. Um, what it was is it was old uh, uh, bronze fill, but it was so brittle that it just was, it just kept breaking. So the nice thing with uh, Lesbots and like MakerBot is you could clean these off very easily. So I unplugged it, turned it off a while ago. Letting it cool. So, first thing you do is you unclip the pins up here. Then you use your 2 millimeter wrench. At least I thought that was a 2 millimeter. That's right. So, I'm going to get one of the tools Lesbot's provided. There we go. And you just unscrew the one screw up here to get into it. So, this is the nice thing about Lesbots. Even when they jam, they're easy to clean out. And I always put the screw back in. So here's the X carriage, and um, again, this is all 3D printed, and the extruder head just sits in here, which is nice because then that way it just uh, comes on and off, and you could change your heads really easily to do other things. But if I show you the front of the head, um, you can see all the brown stuff on the extruder head. That's the old bad filament that was just globbing up and gunking in. And the jam, like I said, is probably somewhere right in here. So that's the one place where you just have to... I tried forcing some other filament through to try and push it through. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And this time it's just the... Again, that bronze fill just jams up, jammed up on me. So next time, if you're doing this, do it with filament rated for it. I tried shoving old 1.75 through. It didn't work. Um, an easy part to take off here is the tension springs. So this just has two screws. So you can unscrew these. And that's just because gives you better access. And let's see, where's the tape? You always want to put a tape, piece of tape here because there's a screw or two nuts holding this in. And you don't want to lose those nuts because those are the ones that you actually need. So you tape off the top part here. And let's see if I can shine a light in there for you. There it is. So if you look down this hole here, you can see that uh, white piece sticking out um, right there that's actually the jam so the piece broke off right here where I can't reach it with a pair of pliers and it's going all the way down into the hot end um, you can also see there's a lot of dust in there so that's a sign that your uh, filament's jammed because this um, hobble bolt here will just chew the heck out of filament and not care because the tension is so strong on the Lesbot head. Now, let's see. Everything else looks good. There's no uh, grinding on the gears. But yeah, it's just the, that jam's in the one worst place to do it. So, I'm trying to do this while it's cooled down a little bit. 
And of course, uh, don't have a pair of pliers like that. So, again, I shoved 1.75 filament through. Most of the time that works, and it's just, again, this uh, color, it was uh, make, uh, not MakerBot, but ColorFab XT Bronzeville. One, I've had it for a while, so I, and I haven't done anything with it, so it's gotten uh, kind of shocked and stuck around the swool, but also it's probably dried out and gotten brittle. So just trying to do that, oh, yeah, it's just stuck in right in there. So basically what I have to do now, there's uh, two screws here and here and underneath. So I'm going to have to dismantle the whole thing. And get a good shot of that. So first thing I'm going to do is take off the fan here. And so the fan's just held on with these two screws going on to this. Um, I actually have done this before, and I might have moved this wire in the way when it shouldn't have been in the way, so it's now's a good time to clean that out. If I could hold on to my tools. Give myself workspace here. And I'm hoping I could just pop the jam out from right in here. If not, then I have to get my Dremel tool. So here's the fan in the fan shroud. So this actually helps keep the whole thing cool. And then next thing, let's see, try and find, I think that's a seven millimeter. Nope, that's the three millimeter. Oops. So the nut popped out there. Yeah, do this over your build plate or someplace where you can keep track of all the nuts and stuff. So when I get to the point where I show you the, the actual jam, I'll just stop there. So yeah, here's the jam, and unfortunately it's all the way deep inside the uh, hot end. So I'm going to have to probably take some time to spend pulling this out. So this is where it gets fun because I'm basically trying to do this while it's still warm. So with all 3D printing, you're going to have a jam like this. Lesbot is nice because you could access every single part. Um, if you have one of the MakerBot Smart Extruders, once it jams inside there, you're screwed. Um, so, one of the fun parts of 3D printing is unfortunately dealing with technical issues. As fun as it is, occasionally crap happens. So, thank you for watching.